you may be asking yourself, you know, what is it like really riding a super sport motorcycle? Or why should you get a super bike motorcycle when super sport motorcycles are fast? Or if you're thinking about getting a cruiser, what's it like riding a cruiser motorcycle? Or a supermoto, what's it really like riding a supermoto or a dual sport motorcycle? Or what's it like riding a scooter? I've ridden all those different types of motorcycles and have owned them. So in this video, I'm not only going to tell you what it's like riding the different types of motorcycles, but I'm also going to show you and maybe that'll help you in your decision on buying the motorcycle that you want to get. Stay tuned. Let's go for a ride. Subscribe today. Whatever motorcycle you're riding, make sure that you wear the full gear to stay safe out here. And I have links to all my gear, which is awesome, like this ultra lightweight carbon fiber helmet, which is my favorite helmet. It comes with an automatic tin shield. This airbag vest, I never leave home without it. This keep you safe. This is your lifeline. Uh, my motovlog camera, my shorty gloves, links to all my gear is in the description and comment section of this video. I'll start it off with the super sport you know i had a honda cbr 600 double r a 2008 <laughs> And that was an awesome bike going from a honda cbr 250r which is like the beginner bike going to the cbr 600 double r was like going to a rocket going to a comp like night and day going to uh, um, i can't even describe it the power is insane compared to that 250. <laughs> A lot of people are attracted to the Super Sport because it's a beautiful bike and a super bike, of course. <laughs> this thing rips. <laughs> I tell you, this thing rips the bottom and ground on this. It's crazy. But on a Super Sport, I'd have been doing 100 already. <laughs> My God, it's so fast. When you're coming from a small bike, it's going to be, it's going to blow your mind insane how fast it is over the beginner bike that you started on when you go to a super sport. And I'll tell you, you're going to get a lot of looks. A lot of people, they're very attractive bikes. A lot of people uh, love to look at those bikes. And I got a lot of compliments when I rode the 600 double R. But the problem is, is that for the most part, you can only go so fast out here on the streets without, you don't want to get your license, lose your license, you know? And they don't play right now. I don't know if you know it or not. In North Carolina, if you get caught doing over 15 miles an hour, they suspend your license, no matter what state you're in. So they're not playing with speed. You got to be really careful where you're doing your speed. You probably want to go out here to the country's roads like I'm at right now. But the problem is with the super sports and the super bikes, is that when you go ride in the city, it's your, you're crouched down in a race position, so it feels like you're doing a push-up. <laughs> it's not very comfortable uh, riding around the city, okay? And I know a lot of people get a motorcycle purely you know, for the looks. They wanna look cool and everything, and have fun too. And you know, yeah, you look cool on that bike, but honestly, it's not very comfortable at all. <laughs> but the reason why you would step up to the super bike for the street out here is mainly because it has a little bit more bottom end grunt. It's po more powerful down low, a bit po more powerful. It's stronger in the mid range than the super sport. The super sports tend to be more of a top end. You got to wind them out to really get the power. You got to crank the RPMs to really get, get that power. And you get a lot of power. But the super bikes, you don't really have to crank the hell out of them, you know? They got a ton of power right there at the meet, right in the mid-range. Some of them got good, good bottom end grunt, like the CBR 1000 double R that I had, that 2012. And I'll tell you that going to the, from the 600 double R to the 1000 double R, um, I would never go back to the 600 unless I was doing, you know, track days. 
but out here on the street I love that 1000 double R more than I did the 600 double R because of the bottom end grunt and pull on it you know what I'm saying and and also with the 600 you crank the hell off it. it sounds like you're going faster than you are man it sounds like you're doing 150 and you look at your speedometer and you're doing like you're doing like 70 <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it sounds like to the police that are nearby, they hear that high whine. Eek, eek, eek. Sound like somebody doing 150 out here. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so it can attract attention, the wrong attention. You know what I'm saying? Um, but I tell you, forget the suit for riding out here on the street. Forget the super sport and the super bikes. You don't need that anymore, guys. Because now we got. Street Fighters. Woo! <laughs> we got the Street Fighters. I had two of them. I had the Aprilia Tuano V4 1100 factory and I had a Yamaha MT-09. And I'll tell you this guys, is that once you go to the Street Fighter, which has the really strong mid-range like the, the Superbike, it doesn't have the top end like the super as powerful top end the super bike but you got more grunt down low it brings some of that power down lower in rpms where you want it on the street and with the street fighter you're in a more upright seating position kind of like i'm on this super motor right now where it's more comfortable where you're more relaxed and, and some of them like the priya tuano was kind of a bit sporty but yet it was a, a more comfortable than being on a super sport or super bike because the super sport and super bike, like I said, it's like you're doing a push-up, you know, really low. And uh, it wears, you know, puts strain on your back and your wrists. Uh, as where the Street Fighter, you're upright. You're feeling good. But yet, you're getting that super bike or super sport-like power out here on the streets with better bottom-end grunt. Oh, yeah, baby, we got power. So once you go to the Street Fighter, if you don't, even on the track, you can take those to the track, too. But... If you're mainly doing street out here, it makes no sense in getting a super sport or, or super bike anymore. The, the drawback now with even the street fighters, some of them, is that they still have aggressive pegs. Like very, very sporty and even race like pegs where your feet are. So your feet are kind of back somewhat. You got an upright seating position, but your, the pegs are not super comfortable like on the Priya Tuano. That had, your, your legs were higher up and it was back, like you were on a super bike. So I would, you can change the pegs up a bit, but it's still not going to be as comfortable as it is on a, a, a super moto like this. My legs are very comfortable. This is in a mid position right here. You know, and that, by the way, for the super sport and super bike, same thing, like I said, the pegs are high up and in the back, like you're in a race position. So, uh, and same with now the Yamaha MT-09 those pegs were more comfortable than the Aprilia Tuano so the, the, the leg position was really comfortable uh, on MT-09 but still not as comfortable as it is on my uh, Supermoto here now what it's like riding a Supermoto here so I'm on the Supermoto here so uh, what's great about a Supermoto is number one is the comfort like I said, you got upright bars, you got plenty of leg room because it sits up higher, the pegs are mid, um, it's very comfortable. I can ride like this all day long in comfort. And with a, su a, a Supermoto like this, it's got a ton of bottom end grunt. <laughs> yeah, baby, it feels good. I tell you, you bust some wheelies. With supermotos, it's all about the wheelies out here. You can go ride it off-road into the woods if you want to, especially if you have the ADV tires like I have, the Shinko 705 tires, which are bulletproof. Um, you know, I can ride this on the highway. I can ride this anywhere. So basically, you get the aspects, the same aspects as a dual sport, uh, but yet you get better street performance. Now, it doesn't do as well off-road as a proper dual sport with proper knobbies but with ADV tires like I have on my bike you can get by 
okay you can get by but it's not as fun as proper knobbies so that takes me to the dual sport which i owned a wr250r which was a proper dual sport love that bike it helped me get into this segment this was kind of my that was kind of my beginner bike into the segment uh before i would never recommend getting a 450 uh before you know pro properly starting out on a wr250r Hey, this thing just wants to wheel it, baby. <laughs> I wasn't even trying to wheel it there. The thing just wanted to wheel it. <laughs> if you're going to get into this world, I would recommend starting on like the KLX 300 Supermoto or the Dual Sport to get your feet wet in this world first. You don't don't mess with a 450, you know, until you or a or KTM 500 EXC or anything. Don't mess with that. It's too powerful right now. I mean, even if you come from a, a, a motorcycles like super sport super bike that are really fast bikes like i did start over again on the smaller you know dual sport or the super moto um i would say start on the dual sport uh you know like the 300 or whatever you can't get it they don't even sell the wr 250r anymore but it's a great bike a bulletproof bike but what the dual sport is awesome to start out on is because you can start messing around off-road and getting used to that and street so that you'll be a bit proficient off-road so that when you get the supermoto that it's going to be a little bit tougher off-road because it's not going to grip as well but you will have those skills in place <laughs> had a real after update there <laughs> we're cutting it really close there man <laughs> now as far as a cruiser when it comes to a cruiser i know some of you guys have are tired of getting tickets on your super sport and super bike and you're ready to transition to a cruiser and you want to know what is it like riding a cruiser well i'm going to tell you this guys is that um it depends on what cruiser you get Baby. it depends on what cruiser you get man um if you want to still have that like super sport super bike type power but yet you want the comfort on the cruiser and the look of the cruiser and everything then man i, I highly recommend i had the ducati x diaval and i will tell you that guys that that bike was amazing if you want to get the best of both worlds, that's the bike to get, is the Ducati x S. It's awesome, man. Um, now I've ridden other cruisers, uh, namely the Harley-Davidson Breakout, and that bike was so pathetic. Okay, off the line. Ah, sick. Now I know that was the older one, 2015. It didn't have really nothing. It was base model. Uh, but it was slow, slow as what? So when you go from the super bike or super sport to a cruiser like that, you're gonna be like, oh my gosh, this thing is like a scooter. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And I don't, honestly, with the cruiser, I don't like the feet forward pegs. I hate that. I feel vulnerable. It's like, feels like I'm sitting in an easy chair with, the, with that type of cruiser. I like the cruiser's got the mid pegs and I think you can put a mid peg kit on the uh, you know the Harleys and also the Ducati XFL also you can put a mid peg kit on there too um, but it just depends on what you want but like I said if you want the best of both power and you want the comfort of the cruiser XFL man that's it or you got the Triumph Rocket 3 but the Triumph Rocket 3 is like almost like 80 pounds, 80, 90 pounds heavier than the XDVL. A lot of you guys talk smack about scooters. You know, some of you guys think that's a sissy. You know, here in the United States, we got a lot of dudes out here with big egos. You know, masculine, think they're tough and everything. You know what I'm saying? They think scooters is for sissies. I'm telling you, man, Mark Marquez and Valentino Rossi both have scooters. And they have fun on them. Um, and they ride all different types of bikes. Scooter has its place and it's fun. It's a it's, it's a really fun. You wouldn't just go cruise with your girl. Get her a scooter and you go cruise in the park. 
or you're like in Key West. We had a blast in Key West. I'm telling you, those things are fun, man. I'm even think I want to add a scooter. I want to get a bunch of different bikes now. I got now that I have my country property down in Georgia. Once I get my barn up, so I hope that this video kind of gives you a sense of what these bikes are like to ride and help you in your decision on which bike you want to purchase. But whatever you do, make sure you wear the gear out there. Stay safe. Leave a comment below and let me know, guys, what's your favorite style of motorcycle. Leave it in the comments below and why. And uh, I appreciate all you guys. Uh, so until next time, I'll catch you guys later. Thumbs up. Check out my playlist for new riders and popular videos. Don't forget to comment and subscribe.